This video explains what and how you'll learn using my Key to IELTS Writing Task 2 book. This is an online ebook. That means you get immediate access anywhere in the world. You don't need to wait for delivery. As soon as you complete the purchase, you'll receive an email with the link and password you need to log in. And you can log in on up to five different devices. This means that up to five people can share the book and the cost. The main lessons in the book are in the first two sections. These sections show you step by step how to reach bands 7 to 9 in Writing Task 2. Lessons 1 and 2 help you fully understand how your writing is assessed and the main problems that are keeping you below band 7. Throughout the lessons, there's a particular focus on task response and coherence and cohesion because these are often misunderstood or overlooked. Lessons 3 to 8 teach you how to make a clear argument and the language needed to do that. Although the language may be familiar to you, you learn to see it in a new way. As well as understanding how a basic argument works, I show you the problems that can occur with more complex arguments and when you join ideas together. The book also answers the most common questions I'm asked, such as when and how to explain an idea, how to use examples, and how and when to include a counter-argument. Again, there is an emphasis on the language you need to use to do that. Lesson 8 shows you how to write a clear paragraph. We do this by working on a typical band 6.5 paragraph, looking at the main problems, then rewriting it to produce a band 9 version of the paragraph. From lesson 9 onwards, we move on to complete essays, beginning by looking at the different parts of an essay, then how to get ideas, and how to plan and write your answer step by step. Lesson 10 also introduces you to my planner. This is a planning system I devised that helped me to consistently achieve Band 9 task response and coherence and cohesion in 40 minutes. Section 2 focuses on test practice. We look at managing your time and developing the thinking and planning skills you need to be able to write well during your test. Instead of just giving you model answers, I show you my own thinking and planning, and there are exercises to help you learn from the models. Later lessons help you develop your skills and show you how to approach any type of question. Lesson 19 revises the key ideas in the book and shows you how to review your own writing before moving on to timed test practice in Lesson 20. Lesson 20 has six new writing tasks so that you can practice in timed conditions. As well as model answers, again there are interactive exercises so that you can learn from the models. Studies have shown that we learn more by doing than by simply reading about something. So throughout the book, you'll find interactive exercises to help you learn by doing. These include drag and drop, vocabulary matching, and listening tasks. Schools have a great deal of influence on young children. The listening tasks have several benefits. As well as helping to develop your ear, they also increase your learning. With tasks like this, you have to work at getting the answer, rather than just reading the model. Making mistakes and correcting them increases your learning and makes the learning process more interesting. There are listening exercises to help you improve accuracy, expand your vocabulary, improve collocation, work on coherence and cohesion, and practice key concepts from the lessons. An important feature of each lesson is the extra practice section at the end. Reading about complex ideas is not enough. To improve, you need to apply the ideas in your own writing. 
These tasks help you to review your work and check that you're doing that. The third section of the book has ideas for teachers and those aiming for bands 8 to 9. It discusses more test questions, has model answers and teaching suggestions for the classroom. I'll be adding more lessons like this to the book. Active users of the book will automatically get any new updates. You can find all the links below and I hope you enjoy using my books to finally reach your IELTS goal.